So, hello, this is a screencast for learning 3GS blog. This one is about tickery. What is tickery? That's a little experiment I have trying to mix 3GS with jQuery. We will see how it goes. What are you looking at on the screen? You got the tickery playground. Well, it's a simple online editor. Here you got the code of an HTML page, and here you got the preview of this HTML page. All right, so, uh, and uh, okay, so this is it for the tQuery playground. The code here, the preview here. So let's look at the code now. So you got basic HTML here. You got a script to include tQuery bundle, which is basically the tQuery. So this is a bundle because we include tQuery and 3GS. This way you got a single uh, JS to include, and uh, that's all easier. All right, so what do we got here? We got a world, we create a world, but if tQuery, create world, full page, start. So tQuery create world will create our world. Uh, our world is something like uh, the scene, the camera, potentially the control of the camera on the wandering loop. All that is called a world in tQuery. So tQuery create world full page start. We create a world, we put it full page and we start it. So it is running right now. It doesn't seem too dynamic, but uh, it is. After that, we create an object and add it to the world. So var object. tQuery creators add to world. Not too complex, eh? Let's add a new one. Uh, so tQuery create, a, let's say, a sphere and add to world. We do that. Oh, yeah, you can see here when I modify to update. And when I update, it's called updated. You can click here or do a command on uh, if you want. Or you click here, it's supposed to work as well. So, tQuery, create fair, add to world. Okay, it's too big and it's hiding the toys. You see, the toys is like inside of it, but you don't see it because uh, the sphere is too big. So here we make the sphere smaller. So something like twice smaller, let's say, something like that. Yeah, seems cool. Now we move it a bit to the left. If I do translate uh, zero, 1, zero, zero, point, something like that. Okay, not too bad. Here we put that a bit closer, so more like this. Okay, excellent. So we have created a sphere here and we got the torus there. So very easy to do. You see the torus here, and here's the sphere. Now let's let's move this sphere and uh, make it move around the torus. So here we take the world up the world. We take the loop under a loop of this world, and we add we hook a function to it. This function is the one who gonna do the which gonna do the animation. So we got a world, a rendering loop inside it. We hook inside the rendering loop, and this function gonna be called every time this scene is rendered. Pretty simple. Well, this key. All right. So tQuery. Uh, we want a sphere, so we do tQuery sphere. So that's gonna select this sphere, and uh, let's put that in a variable. Up var object, almost. Okay. Now we want the time in order to have progression. Uh, this function receives two parameters. One is delta time, the other one is present. So we want to turn around depending on time, so we want an angle, uh, present, no, I don't know for math, but the P that's going to be our angle. Now let's set the position of our wonderful object. 
Okay, so map the cost angle. Like zero, the mat, the pseudo angle. Okay, let me put a smaller font. Okay, more like that. And uh, let me check, it should work. Excellent! So, up, it is immediately moving. And we see it running. So, we did our small animation. So, it's gonna be it for the screencast. Uh, I think you're gonna have some more TQuery news soon. And uh, that's it for today, guys. See ya!